welcome to Soul Sunder. I will be going through this game my thoughts, comes with criticism. This is a game I found on the latest download link, and I see it didn't have too much attention going around it, and I thought, why not circulate a little bit of media and uh, give some critiques? Without further ado. Okay, pretty interesting. Survivor or casual? I'm probably going to choose Survivor, since I usually like picking out, picking out hard difficulties and seeing what is wrong, what is right about it, and if it's balanced or not. Okay, first room in the game? Well, sort of. There was another room in the intro, but first playable room. What I suggest is making this room a little bit smaller, and by smaller I mean cutting out, like, all of this right here. Move this over here, and basically make this room a little bit more cluttered by making this by making the entire general mass smaller. Because right now, it's a whole lot of empty space that is just there taking up room. I mean, it doesn't really make that much sense if this is a middle slash low class family. I would probably use the word 9 instead of the actual number. I probably wouldn't use a comma in the first sentence, I would probably use a semicolon. This hallway is actually pretty good size wise, though I would put maybe a carpet just to liven up a little bit. This room is way too big. Myra's eyes look really blurry. This music is a little bit too epic for children fighting. Then again, I'm not 100% sure what type of song would actually fit a scene like this. It's kind of odd how there's an X on the skulls which represent the enemies. I guess it's easier to tell them apart from the player characters, but meh. Okay, the first battle was kind of boring because it took two hits to kill every all three of them. What I would probably do is just make it a one shot, unless you want to give Alex a skill. If you give him a skill, then okay, I can probably deal with that, but yeah, it wasn't that exciting. I know it's a, the first battle, you don't want it, it to be too difficult, of course, but you could make it a little bit more exciting. You didn't find anything, Alex. The girl to the left disappeared and then reappeared after this cutscene, I mean, after the boss battle. Also, as a note, the shading next to her mouth, the Myra's mouth, makes her look older than she actually is, which is uncanny because she's a child. Just thought I'd point that out. I like how you made the mom recognize the, the wounds Alex has, because a normal player probably wouldn't use an item on him considering how early it is in the game and that would be a waste since we have a whole lot of money. I don't really like the placement of those guards over to the upside. I mean, I know they're guarding the mayor's house, but nah, maybe you could just move them somewhere else since it's nighttime. All the other guards are moved. Or is he like guarding some type of doorway? I'm going to assume that's the case. This dialogue box is irrelevant and unneeded. We already know what his father said. It wasn't that long ago since he actually said that. Oddly specific for a child, but whatever. The priest said it's just a little cough two times, which is a bit redundant. Typo. Out should be our. I'm actually kind of surprised none of the adults decided it would be a good idea to fence up a cliff or not warn the kids to go near the cliff if there are earthquakes around the place. Kinda of odd. Maybe I didn't talk to the right NPC or pay attention. Disappear a spell wrong. Okay, so so far I'm liking the survival aspect. There isn't a whole lot of complexity in the battle system. I mean, we're not really doing a whole lot besides normal attack and making sure we don't die. But there is a lot of complexity in the, in the survival aspect and the fact that we shouldn't fight certain monsters, should escape, we have items, it's a, it's very very simple but at the same time it's very complex and very nice, I like it. But uh, I still stand by what I said with the first battle, the first battle was very boring and it could have been a little bit, uh, I, I should have been able to one shot those guys. Allow them to hurt me a little bit, so the cutscene after that is relevant, but yeah, it was still not a very good first battle. It could probably turn a few people off, but yeah, I'm liking the survival, and uh, I was going to bitch about how if you kill one of the monsters, it responds if you leave the screen, but uh, that actually makes sense, so people don't save scum. I like that. This is supposed to revive a character. Why is it reviving a character? What the fuck? Lol. Also, this command that allows me to look forward is actually really nice. It's great for a game like this where you don't want to fight every monster. Map glitch. 
You forgot to add the forest tile right over here. Oh, thank God for a save point. The survival aspect definitely got me thinking about where I want to move my characters. I'm having a lot of fun with that. But, uh, I was considering lowering the difficulty for a second there. Like, can I actually do this? I don't know if I could do this, guys. But, uh, yeah, I I'm glad I chose to stay on this difficulty. I, I didn't get a game over, of course. I, I was just kind of worried that I would have to restart. But, nope. So far, so good. Let's continue playing. You know, it really doesn't make so much sense that Alex would actually say that. That he wants to follow some random guy when we got thrown off a cliff and are in mountains and monsters and stuff. I mean, I know you're adventurous, but holy shit. We don't even have any berries, dude. Your sister is about to die. She literally has like several hit points left. I mean, you literally had to slap your sister to wake her up because she was almost dead. Though I guess it could make sense that they're shoulder, but at the same time, whoa. What, no event with my sister telling me that this is a bad idea? Okay. This line of grass is way too abnormal. I mean, cut it up a little bit. It's a little bit too straight. Also, there's no plant life right here. Also, this entire roadway is really straight. Though I guess that could be... I guess that could be justified, but I would I would cut it up a little bit, since this is not a, in a town. If it's in a town, then it's okay to be really straight. But when it's in some field like this... It doesn't make sense that this is perfect. Why isn't Myra looking at me while talking? Responsibility is put wrong. Map glitch. These sprites right here shouldn't be here. I entered the house after the whole cutscene where I decided to join him on his quest. I'm not too sure what would happen if I refused the call, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll replay this and check those out, but I don't know. We'll see. I might. <laughs> what did Alex grab from his chest if he left... The house, I mean, he doesn't have anything on it that's now. It would be kind of interesting if he got if I got some items in my bag after uh, after that. But maybe some more berries or something. His chest is still open. What? What? Wait, wait. Did you expect me to come back here? I ac I accidentally skipped that dialogue because I press the shift key button. There is a bit of a problem when I'm trying to talk with people. The player is always going to be holding the shift key, so when you talk to somebody, that automatically makes the text go five faster. I forgot the I forgot the method to fix that, but it's really annoying. Because I, I, I wanted to read whatever he was about to say. Oh well I actually did get an item this time, which is kind of weird, but okay. Where is it in my inventory? Okay. Huh. Did you change your mind? Huh. Prob that's probably an item that you forgot to take out during bug testing or something. You added this feature late in development or something like that. Okay, so this entire room right here is buggy, I guess. At least I have something to sell. I don't know. Oh, now we're getting into some interesting music. Alright, I'm ready. My body is ready. No waterfall animation? That looks kind of crappy. Also, there is a way to add shadows with VX Ace. There is a tool that allows you to put, put shadows that look like this right where I'm standing. Put a shadow on that water so it doesn't look so awkward. I like how creepy this part of the, this part of the game is. Why did you remove the darkness ambience? Like, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Why don't you just remove it for this entire map? Why do you have to remove it during this cutscene? It's kind of awkward. Or why remove it, remove it at all? Was that really necessary? I should mention that when I left this room from the south entrance while being chased by a monster, I gotta chase a sprite chase script. The script you're using to make the sprites chase my main character, that bugged out. I don't know how it just did went out when it was chasing me and I went through a teleport. Okay, so this is like the third time I tried this boss. Pretty difficult. What I'm going to do for this boss is, uh, first of all, I saved up three candies instead of two. I'm gonna need that last candy. And during the boss, Ira is gonna pretty much be the 
support character, always defending, always defending, and whenever she, when, when that other guy joins my party, I will start using her AoE defense build. So, yeah, I can kind of see with the strategy of this boss. Very nicely designed. It is difficult, though, and I'm not a fan of running back, but that's sort of personal. I don't, I, I, I like to go straight back into a boss after I lose. I don't like to bullshit around for 10 minutes just to get back to the boss, but I digress. I'm having fun. The, the mistake I made the last attempt was I decided to try attacking with her since she had all this age all of this SP. Unfortunately, she does very low damage, and her AoE defense isn't that much better than her normal defense, so it's just better for her to guard until her boy boyfriend, wow, that's horrible, her brother comes. The bastard keeps attacking Arya, which is starting to piss me off. Alex just appeared in front of me when the monster died. Why, did, why, why couldn't he be on the opposite side? Like, when you put me into battle, activate a switch in the battle, because there, are, there's a whole little event thing going on in the troops section of RPG Maker that sets off a switch, and when that switch is on, Alex is automatically behind the monster. And when the monsters die, instead of them just disappearing all awkwardly, either add a slash animation or whatever animation, and then they disappear, or you lower their uh, opacity a little bit every 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 like every few frames. Like okay. 15 frames, lower it from 255 to 200, and then keep doing that until the opacity is zero. That's usually what I do. Why can't I go back down the stairs? What the fuck? It's a good thing I saved here before I went down that path to the, to the south, because fuck. <laughs> Whoa. I just noticed the map glitch in the farm. You, It's cut off very inappropriately. What I would do is not have that part of the farm there at all, or just get rid of the fence, because that looks really ugly. Anymore is, a, is one word. The last seed, it faded out and then faded back in before teleporting me to here. So you'll have to fix that. It looks really awkward. Okay, so I am done with this game, this demo. The child arc. I am going to assume there are other arcs, the adult arc, the elder arc, I don't even know. But uh, definitely interesting. Okay, so this demo has a lot of potential, but you're definite, you definitely have to work on a few things. I, I can tell you that you're a bit inexperienced with RPG Maker. Your mapping isn't that great. You make a lot of amateur mistakes when it comes to advancing. And uh, yeah, also the ba also the balance is a little off, but the dialogue is good. There are a few problems with it. I I just got done playing a visual novel, so I am really exhausted dialogue-wise. I might not have found as many typos as I could have, but with that said, I definitely put in a enough effort to read the dialogue, and I enjoyed the story and how it's going. I like the fact that the the villain or anti-hero or whatever he is, he's definitely not a full-on villain. Siren, I believe his name is. He uh, definitely interesting. I like how you padded. I like how you wrote him so far. I like the main characters. I like how they were set up. I'm not too sure what the multiple choices would do, but that's an interesting little gameplay uh, gimmick, I guess. I don't know how the multiple endings is going to work out either. When I said the gameplay was imbalanced, I meant that yeah, the ball, yeah, the boss, the, the game is supposed to be hard, and it definitely is hard. But you wanna when you start adding more content, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to tone down the difficulty at the start, make the game a little bit easier, start the characters off with a little bit more money, open up more shops so my character can buy stuff, keep my characters well equipped, and don't be as, as harsh as you were. That boss was a little bit too difficult. I actually had to go to the editor and uh, instant kill him because I just couldn't do it after so many attempts. I just had to say fuck it and go through it with a hack because I just gonna do it I, I need to continue playing the game so that was unfortunate but that can easily be fixed the graphics are also not terrible
terribly good, but they are custom, so I give you major props for that. I always love I love I always love artists in the RM community, so that's great. You, you'll have to work on that a little bit, but there's always time. And yep, I I definitely want to continue watching where this project goes. I want to see how it how it will evolve. There is a lot of potential in it, like I said. Hopefully everything works out and this game gets complete. It definitely has a pretty good story. I like what you're doing with the whole Chosen One aspect. It's definitely not... It, it's sort of a deconstruction of, of the whole child hero Chosen One to a certain extent and how fucked up it can become. And it's really, really, it's, it's well written, sort well not really well written as much as it was well demonstrated. The concept is brilliant, so it's just a matter of homing in that concept and making the interactive experience uh, more fine and more strong. And my English is terrible. Anyways, I like this game a lot so far. It has problems, but I like it. And I will definitely keep an eye on this. With that out of the way, I am Clarion Christopher. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, good luck, have fun.